Hello Link Tonic and I'm gonna show you how to install M Minecraft Forge 1.10.2 on Linux or Fedora 24. So step one you're gonna want to create a new profile and call this. If you go into your launch launch Minecraft launcher, I mean, you wanna go down here to new profile and create a profile. And name it anything you want, but I'm gonna name it Forge 1.10.2. And then you can want to set to the version Minecraft 1.10.2, which is this. <clears throat> and you want to hit save profile. And then you want to go select that profile. And then you're going to want to run it. This is going to make sure you have all your files downloaded. And let me just do this very quick. Ah, uh, this is annoying. That's why I have that profile open. It's weird like this. And now you're going to want to go down to go to this website. Now, I will have this in the description and you're going to download this. Installer. Hit the installer. Oh, wait. Wait, let me do this again. I have something messed up. Come on. I don't want an awesome gift. <laughs> now 1.10.2 is still in beta, which means it's not completely ready yet. Adfocus is a revolutionary new way of making money on the internet from sharing links on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube. YouTube. Sign up below, share links, and earn money. Okay, save. And you're done. So then you're going to want to close out your Minecraft game and go into your terminal. Let me, and we set our profiles. Seriously? Hahaha, <laughs> this is funny. I'll have to show you how to do this command, it's really awesome. That's fair, see? And then you want to go, you change your directory to the, to, then you want to find a direct, direct, go to the directory where you download the Forge game. Now mine is in the downloads pro file. LS torture, I think. Uh, I think that's its command. I'm not sure exactly. All right, so now I can figure it out. Its name is. It's n I always get mixed up. Is it not count? And so I'm typing Java dash star Forge and then the name of the item. Now you probably understand how to do this if you set up Minecraft on this computer. No, you're gonna need Minecraft installed. And then you're done. And you're gonna click, make sure install clients installed, set, and hit OK. And let's do a thing. Maybe once you can read all this, if you really are interested, but I'm not. That's gonna take some time. It actually won't take too much. <clears throat> Sometimes the logs scare me. Okay, now you want to start Minecraft back up. Let me go back to my rap city profile so I can do this. This is yum. Okay, there. And then you want to edit the profile of Forge 1.10.2 and set it to. If you go all the way to the bottom, I think it's at the very bottom. And let me find it. There, the very bottom. And hit save profile. This is gonna set the game up with Forge. And it's gonna let it run. that very quick. That's a some thing up the right size. <clears throat> and then you cap and as you can see this is it's in better. That's not a vanilla server, that's are you idiot.
Maybe vanilla means something. That's weird. It's not vanilla. Now I would not. I'd be, this is not. This is vanilla. You sh idiot. Well, yeah. Now you're gonna go exit the game, and I'll show you how to install mods. Files. Oh, come on. You wanna go to your home directory, and you're gonna wanna go and click this, and hit Show Hidden Files, and then you wanna search up the .dot Minecraft file. I have a lot of files, so searching up might make my life easier. There are two dot Minecraft files. I think it's this one. Weird. Oh, there. And you can see this mods folder. Now, now we're going to get a go mod. Well, too many items is not updated yet, so I might have to go find another one. So I can see that works. Um, my loader. Biomes are plenty. I can. Fi I'll be able to figure this one out. I need a mod that. Anyone's gonna go down your mod. Make sure it's one point ten two. Ready. And now you want to go back to your dot mo mods folder. I wonder if I can see this now. And you just gonna paste that in there. Now every time you install a mod, you're gonna have to start Minecraft back up. Sorry, I depress you guys. Yep, it's sad. Yep, it's sad. I know, so sad. This mod actually kind of looks fun. Pickaxe. Do that pickaxe? I don't know. It looks fun. <laughs> mods are just fun. And if you watch my video, what what are mods? You'll be on send more. <clears throat> so if we go in here, create a new world. You always when you now if you're messing with ger mods, that mess with the generation of worlds. You're gonna want to make sure you have a, you don't. It won't. They won't really work if you go into an old world because. Stuff. Right. We go over here. And the utilities. CFS can go. Well, this is actually pretty good. And yep, you have a mod installed. Now you can go play your game with mods. And. Ender arrow, you can do all sorts of things. The ender arrow is kind of funny now because you have multiple types of arrow now already built into Minecraft. Cool. So that's all you have to do. You create, um, install mods on Fedora 24. I am running Fedora 24, it works great. And you can do it on Linux, it's not that hard. This is just mainly an update to my previous tutorial. I will be coming up with an, a another tutorial soon about forge still on Linux but but you can kind of translate you can translate to Windows kind of if you know what you're doing uh, King Linux out